Yo, yo, welcome to lesson 32. My bad for breezing through the JavaScript syntax, but my goal here was to give you a brief overview and to teach you how to look at documentation. Anyways, today we're going to learn about the DOM, which stands for Document Object Model. Each time we open a website, the HTML file is loaded and then converted into a giant object known as the DOM. Let's take a look at this HTML file as an example. So when your browser opens this page, it will convert it into a giant object. Uh, and let's call this the DOM. And each HTML tag will turn into an object. So first, the doc type will create a document object. So we'll have document. And next, we have the HTML tag, which will become a child of the document tag. So here we have HTML. And since the HTML tag has two children, the head and the body, we're going to draw two objects connected to the HTML. So we have the head and then we have the body. Uh, and the browser will repeat this process until all of the tags become an object. And finally, we'll have something that looks like this. My apologies, my drawing is kind of bad, but please bear with me. So let's go to W3Schools to see a proper diagram. So open a new tab, go to W3Schools, go to the search bar and type HTML, JS, DOM and hit enter and click the first result with the image and then scroll down. And here, as you can see, this diagram looks a lot better compared to my crappy drawing. So at the top, you have your document, then you have your HTML. And from there, you can see the elements. So you have the head, the body, and here you have an A element, which has a text, my link, and it also has an attribute href. So basically the HTML file turned into a giant object. And here you can see the parent child relationship very easily. And for each element, you can see the values and the attributes and etc. Let's pause here and let me give you some motivation for why we care about this. I've met a lot of people and I asked if they know how to code and they would tell me that they know HTML. And I really want to correct them, but I don't want to be rude, but HTML is just a markup language. So everything we've been doing so far is just basically playing with Legos. We're just taking pieces and putting it together and cool, we get a website, but our website isn't really functional. And our goal as software engineers is to be able to write code that can generate websites and also make our lives a lot easier. For example, if you had to display 10 photos on a website, instead of putting 10 image tags, we can write a loop to do that. And that will save us so much time and make our lives a lot easier. And now that we learned about DOM, and also since we know JavaScript, we can put these two together and basically use code to build websites. Let's go back to Replit so I can show you some magic. Cool. So this is how our page currently looks. Now click script.js, and this is where all the magic happens. So in JavaScript, we have access to the DOM through the document object. So just type document, and then type dot, and then type get elements by tag name open the parentheses and then put quotation marks and here type h1 and let's wrap this statement in a console.log and then close the parentheses and then click run and here in the console we get an html collection and we have one item in index zero so like a list we can open the square brackets and here we can put zero because we know that there's one item inside our list and now let's click run again and now we get an html heading element and now get rid of console.log and now with this heading element we can do dot inner HTML and then put an equal sign and let's put lesson 32 and then end the statement with a semicolon and now click run. And if you notice, Vincent turned into lesson 32. Isn't that super cool? Let's go back to index.html and here, as you can see, we have one h1 tag and inside it we have Vincent. And now let's go back to script.js and all we're doing here is we're asking the document to find elements with the tag name h1. So in our case, we only had one. So that's why we can use square bracket zero to get the first element. And from there, we're saying change the inner HTML to lesson 32. And just like that, we replaced Vincent with lesson 32. And that's how we use code to build websites. Cool. So I just showed you how to edit the value inside a tag. And now let me show you how to create an element. So what we want to do is create a variable. So let's do let element equals. So now we need to use the document. So type document dot create element and then open the parenthesis and then open the quotation marks and let's create a P tag. So put P and then put a semicolon and then go to the next line. So now we have to create the text to put inside the P tag. So let's create another variable. So let's do let text equals document dot create text node and then open the parenthesis and then open the quotation marks. And here let's put this is a paragraph and then end the statement with a semicolon. And next we want to add the text to the element. So let's go back to the diagram. So what we want to do is add the text as a child to the P tag and then add the P tag as a child to the body. And essentially all we're doing is we're just connecting the elements. So let's go back to the code. So first let's take the element and let's do dot append child. 
And here, let's pass it the text. And then next, let's do document.body.appendChild. And let's put the element. So basically, we're telling the element to add the text as a child. And then we're telling the body to add the element as a child. So now let's click Run. And here, as you can see, we created a paragraph. And now let me show you something really cool. Let's write a for loop to add 10 paragraphs to the body. So go to the next line and type for parentheses let i equal 0. Uh, let's do i less than 10. And then let's do i++. Plus plus. And then open the squiggle brackets. And here, let's copy this code, erase it, and put it into the body of the for loop. And let's fix the spacing. And now let's click Run. And boom, just like that, we have 10 paragraphs now. Nice. So one last thing before we end this lesson, I just want to show you one more trick. So on line one, we did get elements by tag name, and this returns a list of elements. But if we want to be more specific, we can just do get elements by ID. So let's copy this line, and then let's paste it, and let's change this to get elements by ID. And instead of specifying a tag, let's give it an ID. So let's call this hello, and then let's remove the square brackets, and let's change the text to ID. And then all we have to do is assign this ID to an HTML tag. So let's go to index.html, and then for the h1, add id equals hello. And now let's click run. And here, as you can see, it changed to id. So let's go back to the code. And all we're doing here is we're saying that we want to be more specific, and we're just saying that we want to find one element that has the id hello. And like I mentioned in previous lessons, an id should be unique, so there should only be one id, and that's why we only get back one element rather than a list of elements. And let's assign an id to each of those paragraphs that we have created. So create a new line and do element.id equals, and let's set it to i, which is the index, but first let's cast it to a string. So just do string, parentheses, and then close it. And on line 12, let's get the fifth paragraph. So since we start counting from zero, we have to do five minus one, so the id should be four. And instead of doing inner HTML, Let's do dot style dot color equals, and let's put red. And now let's click run. And just like that, the fifth paragraph is red. Cool. So I showed you guys a lot of cool concepts. Make sure to try this out and practice on your own. If you get stuck, go back to W3 schools and check out their documentation. They basically just showed what I did. So try it out and get familiar with these concepts. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.